Hi, I'm Yuri Bozzi, researcher at the Center for Mind Brain Sciences of the University of Trento in Italy. Thanks to the generous contribution of the Autism Research Institute, my laboratory will have the opportunity to study the potential benefit of anti-inflammatory treatments to rescue behavioral symptoms in a mouse model of autism. We will investigate whether anti-inflammatory drugs can reduce inflammation in the cerebellum, a brain area important in motor control. Our study, hopefully, could open new doors for novel pharmacological treatments of autism. We thank you very much for your help, support and donations. Thank you. My name is Cheryl Brandenburg. I am a postdoctoral fellow in the Palopoulos Laboratory at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. My research focuses on cerebellar circuit development and its impact on autism. I am appreciative to funding from ARI for helping me kickstart my project using CRISPR-based strategy to knock out autism-associated genes and assess their impact on Purkinje cell development and connectivity. I truly value all of the work being done at ARI to support individuals with autism and their families, and I look forward to sharing my data with the community. Hi, my name is Evan Bort, and I'm a researcher at Massachusetts General Hospital and the Lurie Center for Autism. I wanted to thank the donors of the Autism Research Institute for their support of our research. The main goal of our research is to determine what is different during the development of the male and the female brain that results in a male bias in the prevalence of ASD. We have shown that gonadal hormones impart sex-specific vulnerabilities in the brain that alter social interaction and communication. Your generous funding through the ARI will allow us to gain a deeper understanding of how these hormones are organizing the brain in a sex-specific manner and how this leads to vulnerabilities early in neurodevelopment. Thank you very much for your support. Hi, I'm Natalia Battista, a researcher in biochemistry at the University of Teramo. With this grant from the Autism Research Institute, we will have the funding we need to investigate the crosstalk between food-grade bacteria and the endocannabinoid system in autism. Through this work, we hope to better understand the role of this endogenous system in the communication mechanism within the microbiota gut-brain axis. On behalf of my co-workers and myself, we deeply thank the donors for their support. Thank you. Hello, my name is Tal Aviv. I'm an assistant professor in the Faculty of Medicine in Tel Aviv University in Israel. Um, here we are studying one prominent gene called P10. It is strongly associated with autism spectrum disorder. Unfortunately, we don't know how P10 is regulated and works in the brain and how when this activity is disrupted, it leads to uh, autism spectrum disorder. To solve this, we're designing biosensors, which are sensitive molecular rulers to help us measure its activity in the brain for the first time. This will be the first step towards understanding its role in ASD. I'd like to sincerely thank you for your generosity and support of the Autism Research Institute. This support will be instrumental to establish this project in my lab. Hello, I am Rosa Krahmanik Brown. I am the director of the Bioscience Center for Health Through Microbiomes and a professor in environmental engineering at Arizona State University. And I am thankful to Autism Research Institute, ARI, for funding um, this grant, this latest grant, for looking at how fungi changes with microbiota transfer therapy. Um, we have looked at how bacteria changes with microbiota transfer therapy, but we're hoping that fungi also, especially Candida albicans, changes in a positive way after uh, treatment. I also want to thank um, ARI because um, they provided the seed funding um, that allow us, when I was really junior and assistant professor, that allow us to establish that uh, children with autism have different microbiota than typically developing children. And this data allowed us to provide the evidence for the microbiota transfer treatments that we have been performing. Thank you very much. <laughs>